I'm Barb Perkins, co-owner of Vermont Valley Community Farm, together with my husband David. We discovered the CSA model through a fair share, uh, which was uh, created about 20 years ago by a group of uh, food activists. Fair share plays a great role in helping to pr promote our local producers. And they're, they're really integral to, to the CSA movement. Um, you know, they, they, they bring attention to the fact that CSAs are available. It's a great marketing tool. They put on the fair in the spring so that everyone can come and, and take a look at the different CSAs and see which one might fit them, which one might not. Fair Share hosts an open house each spring. It's really important for the community to be able to get to meet the farmers and for the farmers to be able to talk about what we do and how members can join a farm that matches them the best. The CSA Open House, I think, is a great way to celebrate CSA and local food in the spring every year. We really enjoy seeing the, our members come back to get started on the season, and we really enjoy seeing each other as farmers as well. Helping consumers to connect with farmers is a major role of the CSA Coalition, and also individual farms who are doing CSA or community-supported agriculture. And what we do at the Coalition is try to make food accessible to people regardless of their income status. So we, we run a program called the Partner Shares Program. Program and, and that's a fund assistance program for low-income households. We're both an urban and a rural county and we have CSAs, for example, Troy Gardens, um, right in the city of Madison and that serves a really, a really important niche. My name is Claire Strader and I am the farm director for Troy Community Farm. Since we're in the city of Madison, our farm is an urban farm, so all of our members come to our farm to pick up their CSA shares. And that is one of the, the most powerful parts of CSA, is the connection that our members get, not only with us as farmers, but with their food all the way from when it's put in the ground until when they bring it home. And we have the more traditional CSAs out in our rural areas too. We've been a CSA farm for 18 years, and we've been a member of Fair Share for all 18 of those years. We started our farm to be a CSA, so we have events and festivals on our farm. We have four major events during the season. We have a pea pick, a corn boil, a pesto fest, and a pumpkin pick. Fall is an exciting time for us here at Troy because we are moving out of, we're starting to lose the warm season crops and move back into the cold season crops and it just feels so abundant and it's very exciting to have lettuce again to go with our tomatoes and broccoli and kohlrabi and cabbage just as the, the peppers and the hot season things are winding down. It's really wonderful to get back into those cool season crops. We're learning that food is a real important part of our life. It's not just part of the economy, it's not just part of nutrition, but it also helps build strong communities and strong neighborhoods. Having Fair Share CSA to bridge, to make the link, uh, that's just so critical.